Hey, it's Bernard Nomberg with the Nomberg Law Firm in Birmingham, Alabama. And I'm going to take a couple of minutes to go over what we see to be the top eight reasons why work comp clients need to file lawsuits in Alabama. These are in no particular order, but they have been a common uh, occurrences in our practice. And so I'm sharing with you what we have observed over the years. So the number one reason, or the first reason, is that the claim is being improperly denied. After we meet with you and find out the facts, look at the medical records, and establish a timeline of events, if we think that the claim is being denied improperly, we'll usually advise that the lawsuit needs to be filed. For example, if there's a defense being claimed that the accident didn't happen, but we have witnesses that show that it did, if the injuries were clearly from this event that happened at work, and there's thousands of reasons why they deny claims, but that's the first one. Another one is, is if benefits are not being paid, and that kind of goes along the same lines as being denied, but let's say you're receiving weekly or bi-weekly work comp checks, and then those checks stop, and even after in investigating and talking with the claims representative, there's no valid reason to stop them, meaning you're not at maximum improvement, you haven't done anything wrong, haven't failed any tests, etc., then that may be a reason to, to file a lawsuit and have a judge correct what's going on. There's a myriad of medical care issues that pop up from time to time, and that, that's our third reason sometimes to file a lawsuit. A lot of times that Someone will undertake their own investigation from the insurance company, typically the adjuster, or it could be an attorney hired by them, and they determine on their own that these medical issues that are going on are unrelated, but we don't have valid medical opinions that support that. We may need to file a lawsuit again to, to get into court to, to straighten all of this up. One of the tenements of Alabama Work Comp Act is that you cannot terminate someone for the sole reason or purpose of the termination is that they're maintaining a workers' comp claim. That's, that's called retaliatory discharge. And that, if we, again, feel that that's what's going on, we may advise that a lawsuit needs to be filed to correct that situation to protect your legal rights. Sometimes you can't agree on settlement value settlement negotiations break down. Yet another reason to, to have to get into to court. Your statute of limitations may be fast approaching. We never want to make decisions in a hurry and sometimes you need to file a lawsuit to preserve your ability to pursue the case. And sometimes when the statute is that close, within the matter of days or even weeks, you need to get into court so you preserve your right to go forward, then as time goes on, you can properly evaluate and resolve your case if, if uh, the facts warrant it. If you have multiple employers and the employers are arguing who's responsible for covering the work comp claim that you're pursuing, sometimes you have to sue both of them to, to get the court again to, to work things out and to, to give some guidance. And along those same lines, and this is the eighth reason we have seen over the years why we have to file a lawsuit sometimes, is that you have successive injuries. Let's say you worked for one company, got hurt, maintained a claim, then went to work for another company and got hurt again, and it may or may not be the same injuries, and nobody's taking responsibility, or they're pointing fingers at each other. Well, a lot of times it's best just to bring everybody into the suit and then as discovery goes along and as you figure out the medical situation, and, and sometimes we need the judge to, to help point us in the right direction. Filing a lawsuit is never an easy decision. Filing a lawsuit, getting into litigation can be stressful, it can be unpredictable, it can take long periods of time, but it also can be very, very necessary in order to protect your legal rights and to do those things that we need to have done in order for your medical care, your compensation, your employment, uh, be protected. If you have issues about this, if you have questions about this, of course, this is what we do, these types of cases, work comp in Alabama. Please give us a call. 205-930-6900 is our office number. We have a website, which is nonberglaw.com, and you can find us on most social media platforms, YouTube, Twitter, and Facebook.